Welcome into Studio 12. We're here with our head soccer coach, G. Guerreri. Texas A&M, the street continues, coach. NCAA tournament bound Saturday night at TCU, 7 o'clock kick time. First off, just I know it's been a very trying season, very hard uh, battle season for you guys in your squad. Just congratulations on reaching that uh, that NCAA tournament. It's not an easy thing to do. Well, thanks. I mean, I think, uh, you know, we got off to a great start. We were 7-2. We lost to two teams that are seeded in this tournament. And then um, – you know, one nothing results. You know, we lose a game to the number two team in the country, who's the number one seed in this tournament. One nothing here, but we had, you know, we were seven and two going into you know the the second weekend, third weekend of uh, of SEC play, and then all those injuries hit. So we went through we went through quite a run, a run that that we've never experienced here in our twenty four years at at A and M is having you know lost and then lost you know a couple games back 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 to back. So. Getting ourselves righted, number one, getting those players who were out healthy because um, the soccer season is so short, getting them back on their feet, getting them healthy so that they could come out and play. And a lot of times they weren't still 100%, but they were good enough that they weren't going to cause harm to themselves it was really important. And it was the equivalent of losing all of your skill players. Mm-hmm. You know, you lose your quarterbacks, plural. Yeah. You lose all your running backs, your wide receivers. You lose Miles, Day Day, and, and your secondary. Other than that, you were just great. (laughs) And so that's kind of where we were. And the good news is the kids who stepped into those positions who who didn't have much experience, they gained some very, very valuable experience. They had to learn on their feet and they, and they did. So now when the, you know, when the, the, the first tier kids like Emily Bates comes back, Michaela Harvey now finally healthy again, Ashlyn Harriman comes back. When these guys come back now, those other players have earned a good level of experience so that our depth becomes that much better. And, we, and it made it to where, like in the SEC tournament and on that last run where we went on the winning streak, which is really what got us into the into the NCAA tournament, um, you know, we had players that were playing much better than they had played a month earlier. And I can tell you this week, since the adrenaline rush of, yeah, we are, we are absolutely in there for the 22nd year in a row, but this team made it. Um, the energy, the excitement, uh, it's its a whole new life. And I've told the players, I go, you've been, you know, we, we've been given a gift. You know, yeah, you earned it, but uh, people don't always recognize that. And good for the NCAA committee to recognize the body of work we had, the strength of the SEC, only conference to have two number one seeds, um, and and what you guys have accomplished. And so we're, we're really, really excited. We've had great training, great training sessions this week and uh i'm really really looking forward to uh you know to playing in fort worth we could have gone anywhere yeah they could have sent us anywhere and they sent us to texas into into the state of texas on bermuda grass where we have a few hundred thousand of our alumni it's not minnesota it's not brooklyn it's not ohio or new england it's fort worth texas and that's a that's a that's another plus for us. Yeah, and I want to get to the match in a minute, but I want to talk about something you just brought up about that win streak. And, and this is from an outsider perspective. I think you guys, the team and the coaching staff, deserve an unbelievable amount of credit because as you look in the middle of the season, things look very bleak. It, you just kind of go, you know what, injuries, maybe it's just not the year. The team could have mentally, I don't want to say checked out, but they could have said, well, it's just not our year. But they were able to step back, focus, go match to match, and they played their way into the tournament. I mean, they, you needed every second of every victory that you got there at the end uh, to get in. So, I mean, to me, I think that they deserve a tremendous amount of credit for they do. not just saying, you know what, it's just not our year. They do. And, you know, I, I, and we again, something we've talked to our players about was the game that turned it was we we're playing um, we we're playing Kentucky here, and we're down one nothing. They get a penalty kick, which is, you know, you're supposed to make nine out of ten times. They step up to go up two nothing. Danny Rice, our senior goalkeeper, stonewalls are on on the on the penalty kick, saves it. The momentum of that game shifts. Sarah Shaw, another senior on senior night, scores to put us into overtime. And then uh, you know a great com- great combination of players coming down. And Michaela Harvey, our, our All American, um, wins the game with a, a shot from about twenty four yards out. So from that point on, I mean that day and the the days after that. The adrenaline, we were walking taller. We felt good. You know, I don't know that we ever took winning for granted, but maybe we did. Uh, that we always knew we'd win. You know, we're Texas yeah. A&M. We're yeah. always going to win. Well, that wasn't the way it was. Uh, things were things were weighed against us. And uh, so from that game on, the confidence started to build. 
the belief more than anything. The belief is what got them that win, and then the belief of who they are and what they stand for and what they, how they play and how they how they love each other was uh, was getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And you know, it carried us to where we are right now, where we get to keep playing again in the NCAA tournament. And uh, you know, it's like you know, it's free soccer. It's we get an extra week of training, which has been brilliant, and now we get a chance to. Uh, to go and do what we really love to do. This will be our, I was adding it up, our 60th NCAA wow. tournament game, which is, you know, it's kind of crazy. We've been in the NCAA tournament for 22 years. I only have two girls on my team who are 22. <laughs> so so for the most part, none of our players were born when we started this, this run back in 1995. Exactly. 7 o'clock Saturday night at TCU out of the Big 12. TCU made it to the Big 12 tournament championship game. Struggled a bit there in conference play. Uh, before we let you go here on the final question, uh, kind of a two-parter, what have you been able to learn so far about TCU? And then finally, for all the Aggie fans in, in Dallas-Fort Worth, what would it mean? I know you're going to have a nice contingent of maroon in the stands, but what would it mean to just have a whole bunch of them show up and, and sort of take over that stadium Saturday night? That's the most important thing. I mean, it's it's going to be a beautiful night. Um, you know, only 102,000 people can fit in here into, into Kyle Field. Radio waves, and uh, you can still pick up your Watch ESPN app at Garvey Rosenthal Stadium in uh, in Fort Worth, we need you out there. I mean, if you talk about what the 12th man can do, there's nothing better than having the 12th man outdo the home crowd. And TCU is going to be psyched. This is their first ever NCAA tournament game, and they're a quality team. Uh, Eric Bell and Ryan Hagenbotham, their their, their coaches are uh, are are friends and and uh, have done a really good job of turning that program around. They had a rough kind of a rough mid sec season uh, section like we did but uh, they went from being the number seven seed to uh, almost winning the, the big 12 uh, tournament championship against the number one team in the country so it'll be a great game it really will and uh, I know everyone says that but the biggest thing is that we need loud energetic Aggies at the game it's it's uh it's right there on it, it's you know the TCU campus isn't very big it's easy to find yeah. off, off of Barry Road and uh, so Gosh, get out there! Seven o'clock is the kickoff. You can you can follow through twelfthman.com um, our uh, stories and so the links to get to tickets if you want to go and buy tickets because the stadium isn't very big. The last time we played there, we did have more player more yeah. uh, fans than they than they did, um, but that was quite a while ago. Yeah. So it's uh, it's really really important uh, for our our people to get out there and, and root for our school. All right, congratulations again on the bid, and best of luck on uh, Saturday night. Thank you very much.